What's up fish friends, it's Alex here, your friendly reef dog. And today I'm gonna to tell you all about the new Red Sea Reef Energy AB+. Now Red Sea gave me a bottle of this stuff and I've been using it for a couple of months now. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a balanced guide on everything you need to know about it. And I'll tell you my initial impressions after two months. Now, if it's your first time at the channel, I put out a video every week with tips on how to set up and maintain an awesome reef tank. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Right, let's take a look. So here it is then, and it has to be said, it looks a little bit like a urine sample. In fact, it smells a little bit like a urine sample too. Honey, I'm off to the doctors. Have you seen my urine sample? Before I start, it's worth noting that you absolutely don't have to feed your corals. There are thousands of successful tanks out there that don't add coral food, but still look fantastic. I hadn't previously fed corals in my Peninsula 500 and they've always looked healthy, vibrant and grow well. But there doesn't seem to be much doubt that the vitamins, amino acids, fatty acids and carbohydrates found in AB Plus are beneficial for corals. Both BRS TV and Tidal Gardens have done enlightening videos recently on the benefits of proper coral nutrition. And for what it's worth, I'm personally well and truly on board with the idea of feeding corals to improve health, coloration and growth. Red Sea describes Reef Energy AB Plus as a superfood for corals that gives better health, growth and colours. It's an enhanced version of their previous Reef Energy A and Reef Energy B products. Only this time they've solved the two big drawbacks of A and B in that all ingredients are now combined into one bottle and it doesn't have to be constantly refrigerated. What that actually means is that the bottle itself needs to be refrigerated at all times once you've opened it. But you can keep a week's supply out of the fridge, which means you can pour a week's worth of the stuff into a dosing container and have your dosing pump dispense the stuff automatically every day. And that's a huge improvement on A and B that you had to keep in the fridge, which meant you had to dose it manually every day. The bottle still comes with a dosing outlet on the cap, so you can rig it up to a drinks fridge if you still don't want to measure out a week's worth of juice at a time. Red Sea recommends you dose 4 milliliters per 100 liters of tank volume per day for a mixed reef or a system with SPS frags, and 8 milliliters per 100 liters for an SPS dominated system, or 12 milliliters for an ultra low nutrient system. My tank is around 400 litres after displacement and I'm classing it as SPS frags, so I was dosing 16 mil per day, which means this one litre bottle lasted me two months. The one litre bottle costs £32 in the UK, so you're looking at £16 per month for a 100 gallon 4 foot by 2 foot tank like mine. Although with a more established or larger tank, you'll double the daily dose, so it can get quite expensive. If you previously bought two of the half litre bottles of Reef Energy A and B, they would have cost you £34, whereas the one litre bottle of AB Plus costs £32, so it will work out cheaper for some people. And I suspect the one litre bottle will be the most popular because it won't take up much fridge space and it's a fairly cheap one-off purchase compared to the bigger bottle. But if you previously bought Reef Energy A and B in larger quantities, AB Plus works out more expensive. AB Plus comes in bottles of 250ml, 500ml, 1 litre and 5 litres. If you bought a 1 litre bottle of Reef Energy A and a 1 litre bottle of the Reef Energy B to give you 2 litres of product, it would cost you £50. Whereas buying two 1 litre bottles of AB Plus costs £64. Taking the largest bottles, you could buy one 5 litre bottle of A and one 5 litre bottle of B for £190, which of course gives you 10 litres of product. And if you bought two 5 litre bottles of AB+, you'd get 10 litres of product for £240, which is an increase of about 26% for all you maths fans. You'll make your own mind up if that's worth the extra money, but the space saving that comes with only having one bottle, and more importantly, only having to dose once a week, makes it well worthwhile in my book. I'm simply too lazy to dose coral food every day, so AB Plus makes this a viable option where A and B previously weren't for me. And if it really does make a significant difference, you can probably sell frags of your corals to your local fish shop and buy this stuff with a store credit. Red Sea says you need to clean your dosing container thoroughly with soapy water between uses. But don't worry about busting out the marigolds. As far as I can see, that just means you need to chuck your dosing container in the dishwasher. I bought two sealable food safe containers and just switched them over each week. Although I do wonder if you should clean the dosing tube every week as well, or more likely replace it. While I've been using this stuff, I didn't, and I didn't come across any problems, but I did run some RO water through the tubes before I added the next week's instalment to clean the pipes, as it were. And joking aside, it actually smells fine. It's neither pleasant nor unpleasant, smells a bit like a hipster spirulina smoothie, and I couldn't smell it outside of the cabinet. 
because I've only used it for two months, it's beyond the scope of this video to say whether it improved my coral health and colour. I can't say I noticed a difference in colour, polyp extension or puffiness of my corals, but I'm likely to keep using this stuff, so I'll keep you up to date when I've had more experience. But that leaves us with growth. During the time I was using AB+, I also added more light to my tank and reduced my phosphate levels, so I can't say for sure how much difference the AB+, alone made. But I did take a number of before and after growth videos two months apart, and from what I can see, I've been really impressed. I've always had good growth in my tank without getting especially fast growth, and while it's difficult to see what difference the AB+, alone made, I definitely feel like growth improved. When you look at these next two clips, you can see that the corals in the background have grown out too. This is an Indonesian Latistella coral that's been quite a slow grower until recently. But while I was using the AB+, it developed its branches and grew noticeably. And if you skip back 10 seconds to the before clip, you'll notice the coral in the bottom right corner wasn't there. And here is that coral. You can see it's based out over its frag plug and the top left corner branch was starting to spread. You'll see both of those areas have grown and the red coral to its right is now starting to fight for territory. I will of course reserve full judgement until I've used it a bit longer, but the early signs are encouraging. Red Sea also says it only causes minimal over skimming. For now I can't really give you my experience on that though, I cleaned my skimmer the week before I started using this stuff and it's been going crazy ever since. Although for what it's worth, the skimmer didn't get any worse when I started using AB+. And Red Sea does suggest you turn your return pump and skimmer off for half an hour when you dose to allow the corals to absorb as much of the goodness as possible. That can probably be achieved very easily if you have an aquarium controller like a Neptune Apex or a GHL Prophylux. Or without that you could just buy a couple Couple of plug timers and set them to coincide with your doser. Finally, Red Sea also says it has no impact on nitrate and phosphate. Now I've been slack on my testing so I can't actually tell you what the numbers were, but I've seen no negative changes in my display tank whatsoever. I've never had any nuisance algae in my tank, and that's still the case after adding a litre of AB plus over the last two months. Now when Red Sea first asked me to take a bottle and make a video about it, I actually said no. I don't want to be one of those YouTubers who gets sent free stuff and blindly endorses it but I decided to go ahead after talking to Red Sea about it a little bit more. And while it's too early to reach a conclusion, my first impressions are that I've been really impressed. And the biggest compliment I can pay AB Plus is that I've now bought a new bottle with my own money. If you want to buy it, it's in stores in the UK now and will be available elsewhere in the world around mid-March. I'll be coming back to do another video when I've been using the stuff for six months, so let me know if you've got any questions in the meantime. So those are my initial thoughts then. Now I have bought a new bottle myself, so I'll be giving you a long-term review in a few months time. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next week. And until next time, happy reefing.